yeah, it was always great to play your first game here at home and um, you know, all the family and friends came down. It was um, you know, torrential rain and the winds were you know, close to 100 k's an hour, I think, so um, my hair was blowing everywhere. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. Um, the ball kind of fell in my lap a couple of times and I kicked a few goals, so um, ended up with three, three goals um, after not seeing the ball all day. Obviously, Nick, he was pretty quiet up until that last quarter and then when the game was in the balance, just pulled out three of the most amazing things that happened. Uh, well, I've seen in the wet. This was an outstanding effort. Touch of Peter Bezasto about that one, Tim. Yes. That's when I knew that we had someone special and, you know, he's developed into what he is today, but uh, that was the first sign of me that, you know, this kid is going to be absolutely anything. I just remember standing next to him feeling safe. He's such a big fella and I'm thinking, well, there's two, uh, two black fellas sitting in the goal square here and I feel safe because one of them is about six foot six and, and uh, all muscle. So I just remember him um, just doing things that, you know, blokes his size shouldn't be doing. So felt pretty comfortable and even better we got the win. Just, just the electricity in the crowd was one thing that I remember from that night. Yeah, the crowd was going pretty nuts. There was even a few guys with dreadlocks, um, you know, dreadlock wigs in the crowd and their, and their face paint, still in the rain with their ponchos on. So, um, yeah, it was a surreal feeling and, yeah, I always remember it. I remember walking past him pre-game. I just said, good luck, mate. I don't know why I remember that. It must have been my um, words of wisdom that got him up. But I remember watching Campbell Brown get stuck into him behind the play. And um, he showed a lot of maturity to be able to cop that on the chin and win the game for us, so it was, it was pretty awesome to watch. There's Campbell Brown getting into Nat Nui. Irresistible force and immovable object. After he kicked the three goals, and there's Campbell Brown um, in the goal square with him, just trying to rough him up. And just I remember looking back and thinking, what are you doing, mate? He's just kicked three goals on you, and he's tied the side with you. Yeah, little Campbell came across. Um, I was pretty skinny at the time, and um, you know, he was like the, the enforcer, I guess, who came down and try to rough me up, but um, yeah, I felt you know, pretty honoured to have him come down and you know, do what he had to do to me. This teenager has lit up Subiaco Oval in the last quarter. For a young kid to be able to just take the game on like he did and essentially won the game for us um, was just uh, you know, an incredible moment and the crowd were just going absolutely ballistic, you know, they were going loud, they are going, you know, who's this kid, I think he's going to become a, a cult hero and uh, I'm sure he will become a cult hero for a long time. And a star is born.